This question is asking us to write the slope-intercept equation of the function f whose graph passes through this point right here, negative 6, 7, and is perpendicular to a line that has an x-intercept of 1 and a y-intercept of negative 2. Okay, so the things that they're giving us, we know that they're giving us a point. Our line goes through this point right here. And our line is perpendicular to another line. Whenever you see parallel or perpendicular, you're probably going to get the slope. So we are probably going to get the slope from this perpendicular line. Now, the perpendicular line has an x-intercept of 1 and a y-intercept of negative 2. So they don't give us the slope. They give us these two points. To find the slope, if you want to, you can use the two points and the slope formula, right? Your x-intercept is 1 comma 0, your y-intercept is 0 comma negative 2, and you could use the slope formula, but I'm a visual person. I think I'm just going to graph these points, and I'm going to use rise over run. So let me get a graph. All right, look at that. And now... I'm going to put these points down. My x-intercept is 1. Crosses my x-axis at 1. My y-intercept is negative 2. Okay, so this is what my perpendicular line is going to look like. It's going to go through these two points. It's going to look something like that. But what I'm going to find from this is my slope, my rise over run. So I rise 1, 2, rise of 2, and my run is 1, run of 1. Okay, so the slope of our perpendicular line, the red line, is rise over run, 2 over 1. Okay, which is also just 2. Now, if I know the perpendicular slope is 2, my slope, and I'll make it green, my slope is opposite the reciprocal. So this 2 is positive, so the opposite of that is negative. And the reciprocal of 2, or 2 over 1, is 1 over 2. So now I have the slope of my line, and I also have the point of my line, which I will now circle in green over here. Okay, we have a point and a slope. What formula do you think we're going to use? That is correct. We're going to use the point-slope formula. So we are going to plug in these things. When I look at my point, I know x comes before y. So the negative 6 is my x1. 7 is my y1. I'm going to call this point number 1. And then I have my m. So I'm going to plug in for this thing here, this thing here, and this thing here. Okay, the three things I just circled in green, I'm just going to plug those in. All right, let's do it. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, up at the top right, I said my y1 is 7, my m is negative 1 half, and my x1 is negative 6. Okay, so for this line to be in point-slope form, it's kind of in point-slope form. I'm not going to leave minus a negative, all right? Minus a negative is the same as a plus. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit, and I'm going to get rid of these parentheses that I don't need. So this is y minus 7. This negative 1 half, I don't need those parentheses anymore. There's nothing out there multiplying it. And now inside here is x plus 6. Okay, so this is my point-slope form of the line. Now the question is asking for the slope-intercept form. So I need to go find my slope-intercept, 
which is y equals mx plus b. All right, slope intercept y equals mx plus b, where the m is the slope and the b is the y intercept. All right, to get it in slope intercept form, the key is you want to get your y by itself. So let's go back over here. I want to get my y by itself. I want to get rid of the minus 7. I will add 7 to both sides. But first, I need to have something to put the 7 into. So I am going to distribute. Okay, I'll unlock this variable from this number. So y minus 7 equals negative 1 half times x is negative 1 half x and then negative 1 half times 6 might need to get your calculator for that but half of 6 is going to be 3 and now one more step let's move that minus 7 by adding 7 to both sides of the equal sign right to the left and to the right and we will end up with y equals negative one-half x plus four and that is our line in slope intercept form okay if we wanted to graph it they're not asking us to, but why not? Let's do it. Cross is at 4. My slope is negative 1 over 2. Down 1 over 2. I get a green line. And it's going to look something like this. And would you believe that those two are perpendicular? I sure would. Looks good to me.